thing. This guy, he did a minute during our voting last week, but this time he has an actual three minute set and he's in contention to win the $113. Oh. So give it up for Christopher Anthony, everybody. Here it is. My friend's an ER nurse. She works overnight. She says about a third of the people who come into the ER have something of some size stuck inside their ass, uh, which is weird because most of them aren't even there for that. It just shows up in the x-ray. <laughs> They're like, my arm's definitely bleeding. Do you have to take that out? It was <laughs> People are so obsessed with race, you know, 23andMe, Ancestry.com. My friend found out he's 80% black because he lost his arm in a car accident. And so... <laughs> <laughs> we live in like such a PC society, you know, you, you, you have to change what you say. Like you can't call them the mailman anymore. You have to call them the person person. So, <laughs> um, my uh, friend's coworker, <clears throat> the, the wife, the wife slept with his best friend, which is not just infidelity but also bestiality. He loved, he loved that dog. Oh. <laughs> my friend really wanted a dog, and after four months, she went ahead. <laughs> And adopted a dog because she couldn't have one naturally, and that's just what you do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you adopt. Oh. Um, speaking of sex with dogs, anyway, I was dating this girl, and at first she was like, "Look, I don't want to have sex because I'm on my period," but I pulled some strings and uh, made it. Happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a coffee shop. This lady comes up to me. She's like, excuse me, do you have a problem with me nursing my child? And I was like, lady, if I had a problem with what you were doing, I wouldn't be watching you for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, but they are out of half and half. So if you have anything left over, let me know. <laughs> Family's very complicated. Uh, I have a half sister. Basically, we have the same mom, but... I wasn't in the car that night, so, you know, made it out good. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a there's actual <laughs> billboard downtown that says, learn to read. Uh, who's that billboard for? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't understand it. I, I live in New Orleans. Uh, when I first came to New Orleans, I was like, wow, a lot of people have bikes out here. But now that I've lived in New Orleans, I'm like, wow. A lot of people have DUIs out here. <laughs> you're not environmentally friendly. You can't legally drive. You're not woke. You're broke. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Christopher Anthony, everybody.